Jump up and down thing. Okay, try to stay on the floor that's been replaced because there's some soft spots. No, I'm just kidding. We replaced 44. Um, what are those things? Those floor colors. Yes, choices. Floor choices. Like choices. Choices. So we, we, we. Anyway, the building is good to go. We're so glad you guys are here. So there's a couple things that are different. Um, the, the the bathroom. The bathroom that we normally use up here is out of commission, but we have a porta job. So, yeah, right out the door here. So, um, and, and I will tell you, I feel awkward to say this, but this particular porta job um, was was um, brought to us special, and one of the things that has in it is a, a little sink to wash your hands. It's to wash your hands with, guys. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what else? Uh, I'd like to welcome the Miracle Hill Overcomers. How many of you guys are here? And uh, last night we had the golden opportunity to have a worship team uh, with how many of you guys were there last night yes yeah it was great um, we had a worship team there last night they did about how many songs 18 or 20 I think we got 30 on the on the schedule for tonight no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so in the back where uh, Debbie and Cindy are um, there's some snacks. Uh, we don't charge for anything here. If you want to make a donation, that helps. Everything we do, this is a 50C3, 501C3, nonprofit certified. Yeah, that thing. And so everything is totally donation. Nobody gets paid to, to come in and do stuff. Nobody. There's no salaries, period. So everything we do is, um, is by donation. Debbie back here has got a, a placard she's holding up. Um, we're here in, in honor and memory of Rob Dempsey tonight. He's a great, great uh, musician and an artist and we were, we were like tore up to have lost him. But we're so happy to know where he is tonight. That, you know, yeah. And, and uh, I'm not gonna say anything else because I'll get all tore up. But, Debbie's got a bucket back there. Uh, if you have a card or something like that you want to drop in, uh, you can do that. Debbie's also got a stack of cards that Rachel, I think, printed up for us. Rachel, where is Rachel? There she is. Rachel printed those up for us. So if you didn't bring a card but you want us to leave the family a note, please do that. And you can get up at any time and go do that. Um, the lyrics are on the screen. Yes, the, the um, lyrics will be on the screen. Thank you, Rachel. Um, so, so we always take up a love offering at the, at the bucket. That helps us pay for the insurance and all the other stuff that we have to pay for. Um, but we'll also, uh, we've got a bucket back there. If you want to make a donation specifically to Rob Dempsey's family, that's available back there for you. Um, we'll have a QR code posted on the Rusty Bucket website if you didn't come prepared, that you can do that. If you look at the chair in front of you, except for y'all on the front row, there is a QR code. Um, if you'll click on that QR code, please do that. Please put your email address in the system so that you can be notified. We have got 
20 something, how many events lined up for next year already? 22? Uh, 20, 20 something. They start in February, I think February 8th, and go all the way to November 24th yeah. or something like it's, that. It's It'll another. Start every other week, every other Saturday. It's another every full week, week, and we'll have the Miracle Hill men with us for one of the events, and then the next event, we'll have the Miracle Hill ladies from the renewal program joining us. So that's. That'll be different this coming year, and we're super excited about that. Um, we do a, a worship service for them, and to just worship as though you're nobody else is in the room. You just there's nobody there. That's the way they worship, and it's uh, really amazing. So, um, y'all have some hot dogs in the back left. One, run fast. <laughs> you have some. Okay, there's some hot dogs back. Those are not just hot dogs. Those are Costco hot dogs. And they yeah. stay with you for a long and time. Yeah. And they're only about a week old, so they're still fresh. Okay, we picked them up today. Um, in the back, we have uh, Ethan. We have Ethan on our sound tonight. Super glad to have you, Ethan. And, uh, Ethan is actually going to be working on a brand new uh, mixing console that was donated to the bucket from Brookwood Church. So we're super excited about that. Thanksgiving, yes. It's just around the corner. Was I supposed to say something? Oh. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. And it's going to be another super night of music, but even more so, or right there in the same place, we're going to have a potluck supper, old-fashioned potluck supper. So um, you can go on, and I don't know, Rachel, is it active? Okay, so the website is active, the QR code is active. Uh, if you would like to join us that night, if you want to know what to bring, click on the QR code and it's going to take you to a magical place. It will say, do you want to bring green beans or a salad or a bag of chips or something like that. So you can, you, and if you don't have anything to bring, just bring yourself. We just, we just want to have a great night of worship. We have how many musicians coming in that night? Well, they haven't all accepted yet, but it's a lot. Okay, we probably have 20. There's, well, there's, I think I invited 18 vocals, something like that. 18 vocals, plus the band behind them. Band. Yeah. Um, so it'll be, it's going to be a fun night. It, it's going to be amazing. We'll even there's we've got some musicians who are hiding over in the audience, and I'm not going to point where they are, but we've got some hiding over here. And, and, and if I get tired, I might be calling for some assistance up here tonight. She said that was fine. Yeah. yeah. She said she's all for it. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be in the back of the room. She tried to hide. All right. That's enough of all that. Thank you guys so much again for being here. We appreciate you. We love you guys, and I can't wait for the night of worship to begin, so let's go. Um, right. Do I? Nope, I think that's it. There's also Rusty Bucket t-shirts in the back. If you get a t-shirt, please wear it. You know, wash it at least once a month or so, but wear it all the time. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, so let's start to worship. All right, this is how the night's gonna go. It is a little bit different. A lot different than what we've done in the past. There is, um, we have a bucket of songs. We have a bucket girl, Miss Rachel Mantu. And so tonight, this is, um, there are, and Jerry was not kidding, there are like 30 songs in that bucket. So as <laughs> as we start, we're, we're going to start it off with, with a song that was one of Rob's favorites. Um, and then at after that, when she's going to walk around, pick somebody by random, you're going to draw that card out and yell out the, the song and yell out the person who's going to sing. It's all on the card. And so, and forgive us if there's a mistake here and there. It was, it was, uh, this is, this is going to be spirit land and uh, we're just going to go in it. And, uh, we're going to do what Rob Dempsey loved to do. And he loved worshiping. He loved yeah. leading worship. He loved Jesus. Um, you might be wondering what this microphone in the front is for. And that's for Rob. Because we're missing one of our brothers tonight. And 
and we miss him, miss him dearly. And we know that he's in heaven with Jesus, and he is shining down, looking down on us with a big smile on his face. And his arms are probably spread like this, going, hey, are y'all ready to worship Jesus? Thank you. 
was his rock. It was his firm foundation. I know a lot uh, his story if you follow it, and it, it just man, it resonates with so many people and um, just to know that God chose him and used him in such a huge way and no matter what Rob went through, what he was going through, even when he was going through his battle a couple weeks ago his posts were prayer, Jesus it was constantly with his eyes on Jesus. And um, it was his firm foundation. And I, and I think if he was here, he would encourage us all to, to run to that, to run to Jesus. Because no matter what happens to us in this world, the good, the bad, Jesus is our only thing that, the same yesterday, today, and will be tomorrow. He is our foundation. He is where we can, we can hold on to when life is just bearing down on us. Ready, Kevin?
Lowry's going to come up and um, our, to talk about our spotlight ministry, which is Rob and his family and the life that he led. And um, and uh, so don't don't go anywhere. It's not break. Don't, you got plenty of time. Go restroom. We got all, we got plenty of more music coming up. So um, just sit and we're going to honor uh, Rob in this next few minutes. Thank you, Scott. Awesome. Thank you, Kyle. Are you enjoying it so far this evening? You know, the reason we are here tonight is really to pay tribute to a man who really pioneered the way when it came to Christian music. And as you scroll through social media, as you look through Facebook, as you look through Instagram, you can't help but to come across stories encouragement testimonies of people who knew Rob and were impacted because of his life the other morning when my wife and I got the news I couldn't help but to go to his Facebook and be looking and look at all of the notes and all of the messages that were sent thanking Him, thanking God, praying for His wife. And so, as Kyle mentioned and Jerry mentioned earlier, there are some of these postcards that are back here on the next to the, the area. Miss Debbie's holding them up. Uh, but, but really, it, it's designed so that we can truly be an encouragement to His wife, to His son, and to his children and, and ask God if you want to leave a prayer, write a prayer. If you want to leave a, a story, a testimony of how he impacted your life, do that. As Kyle mentioned, there's a, an open mic tonight. The reason there's an open mic is because I've watched Rob lead music at our church in front of thousands of people. I've watched him stand up at Bon Secours Arena and, and address thousands upon thousands of people. But there was no greater joy than when he was here at the Rusty Bucket. You could see it on his face, the encouragement, the love, he is an individual that truly reflected Jesus. And that's the reason we're here tonight. Is to honor a holy God that our friend knew. That our friend lived. And so tonight as, as we remember the life that Rob lived can't help but to think that on that glorious day when he stood face to face with Jesus that he heard this statement well done thy good and faithful servant and as hard as it is for us to lose a friend what a glorious day it was for him to stand face to face with his Savior. So I don't know what you were dealing with. I don't know what type of emotions you have in your life. I don't know what you're searching for. But can I remind us of this one thing? Because I think if Rob were standing here tonight reminding us just one last time, I think he would remind us with this. God is good. God is good. No matter what you're facing in your life, the thing that you can realize is God is good. The psalmist said, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. His mercies last forever. 
So if you're searching for answers tonight, you'll find them with Jesus. If you're searching for peace tonight, you'll find them with Jesus. If you're facing fear tonight and you're searching for something to take away that fear, you're going to find it in a Savior called Jesus. I kind of feel led to do this, you know, in a crowd this size. I, sometimes we take it for granted that everybody that steps through those doors are believers. Statistics will say that probably reality of it is probably only a third of us really truly know who Jesus is. And so tonight I'm going to ask you to do one thing. I'm going to ask us just to take a moment of prayer. Let's bow our heads. I'm going to pray over us. But even before I pray over us, I'm going to just ask you one question. And that question is, is do you know who Jesus is? But more importantly, does he know who you are? And so tonight you may say, Scott, I'm searching. I've heard a lot about Jesus. I hear we sing about Jesus all the time, but I truly deep down, I don't know who Jesus is. And you may say, Scott, would you just pray for me? Because I'm searching and there's things in my heart that, that I don't know that if I stood before Christ today, that I would hear the statement, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Is there anybody here tonight, nobody looking around, please, just for sake of, so, so no one feels like they're pointed out. But is that you tonight? Is there anybody in here that would say, I don't know that if I died today, I would stand before Jesus and hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. If that's you, would you just give me the honor to pray for you as I pray in just a moment, thanking God for Rob and his life. Anybody in here tonight? I see that hand. Thank you. And I'm going to pray for you. I see those hands. And I'm going to pray for you. Amen. God bless you. As I pray, if you raise your hand, would you just look up here at me? Thank you for the courage that you have. There are multiple people here tonight that would love to, to open up God's Word and to pray for you, but also to, to, to walk you through how you can know before you leave, before you get back in that car. God forbid that someone steps out and they pull up here to the stoplight and get broadsided and then they step into eternity. But tonight could be the night that you can know 100% for sure. And so if that's you, I would challenge you, I would encourage you, any of the worship team, please seek us out. We would love to sit down with you. Take a few minutes to show you how you can know beyond a shadow of a doubt a Savior who loves you, who gave everything for you that our friend Rob served with everything in his life. So thank you for the courage of looking, for, looking at me. Thank you for opening up and being transparent. And I'm going to do exactly what I did, what I said I would do. I, I'm going to pray for you. And so as we pray, <coughs> Lord, I thank you for those that had enough courage to say they didn't know for sure. Father, I pray, Lord, tonight that they would find Jesus tonight. Father, give them the courage to take the next step, and that's to seek out someone that's on the worship team so that we could share with them a loving Savior. Lord, we thank you that Rob has fought the good fight, that he's finished his race, that he kept the faith. <coughs> Lord, we thank you for his life, but more so, Lord, we thank you for the Savior that he served. Lord, we thank you tonight for Jesus. 
Lord, we love you. And Lord, we give you everything. Because it's that precious name of Jesus. The one that loves us enough to send his only son. So that whosoever would believe in him wouldn't have to perish, but would have that life everlasting. And Father, for those that raise their hand, Father, may tonight be the night that they find Jesus. Amen.
Yo, Rob had, and I talked to her earlier, and it's Lois, and she's here tonight. And man, I just want to share, I want to share this story because Rob had such a huge outreach and just something so small that we didn't even know. And I want to share this on, I think it was uh, this past Monday, a bunch of us kind of got together, Jerry's house, and it, and um, we uh, we prayed for Rob, and we did we we filmed it all, we put it, made a video for him of us praying some scripture, and, and we sang "Battle Belongs," and we sent it to Rob, and it wasn't we didn't post it on Facebook. It wasn't meant for to go on Facebook. It was meant it was meant for Rob, and I sent it to him that night, and he and he texted me back at four in the morning, and I mean and um, and. And thank me for it, and he was, and, and how blessed he was to, to have that. But then he posted it on his own Facebook page. He wanted to share it, and um, and this just this little bit is just a reminder. You know, when Jesus came into this world, he came to us to become a light in the darkness. And just one little thing can make all the difference in the world to somebody who's hurt. And I want to read this this um, Lois's post that she responded to with this. She's, um, she said, I just want to share a story with you. So this Tuesday when Rob shared that video of you all praying and singing, I was, all, I was in tears. I actually told Rob y'all needed to go on The Voice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> But back to the story, I was headed to my best friend, best friend's house that morning, and I read my daily devotional, and it said, our lives would be much easier if we just listened to the mentors God had placed around, has placed around us. Oftentimes, we take the long way by ignoring these helpful voices and spend all our time making mistakes, cleaning them up, and taking a few steps forward. Today, accelerate your life by listening to those who God is speaking through. You don't have to take the hard way anymore. This made me think of Rob. And so between y'all praying and singing, I dedicated my life to Jesus Christ. And thank you. Amen. Amen. And she came to me and I friended her and I, and I invited her to come to the bucket tonight. And she may, she may want to, uh, that's her right there. <laughs> little stories that that God uses everything for his good and just that how it went from us to Rob and somehow in the car Jesus found her through us so Amen. remember as we go out as, as, as Christians as believers in Christ when we leave here in every minute of every day that we walk this earth that every, whether we're at work, we're at church, or just walking down the street, remember, we are that light that Jesus used to shine and find his way to people who are walking around in the darkness. And that lady right there is proof of that. So I encourage you all to pray. Love it. Love on each and every person that ever comes in front of your path. And follow Jesus as well. Thank you, Lois, for coming and thank you for letting me share your story. All right, lucky girl. Crystal, holy forever. Crystal, holy forever. I was told I needed to say the name of the song and the name of the person singing so the lady back there can hear it. So it's, oh, actually, Aaron's singing. Are you singing? Holy Forever? Yeah, she was holding me today, but I was singing. Hey, see how that goes? Watch this. Hey. They didn't rehearse. So. Yeah, there, this, yeah this, this has been a crazy week. And so we're just going to roll with it. That's why it's very important that y'all stand up and sing with us, because there has been no rehearsal for any of this. It has just been a, we've got to put a bucket of songs together, and we're going with it.
Imagine 
Before you sing that, I gotta tell a story about my Jesus and Rob. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, uh, I was serving with Rob at Celebrate Recovery one, one, uh, one Thursday night, and uh, I walked in, and I love, man, y'all, I love Jesus. I eat those things for breakfast every morning. I love them. Jesus. So I walk in, and that, my Jesus is on the on the on the list, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. that night. And he had, he had a bag of cheeses, and he came up to me and just got Let me tell you about my Jesus. 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 My Jesus. So, yeah, I'm sorry. So, so he, he starts making a joke about my Jesus, not my Jesus. He's like, my Jesus. So, and what's funny is a, about a week after that, I get a text from him, and he's like, Hey man, I'm gonna do the cheese it bit on the radio in about five in about five minutes. Make sure you gotta turn it on. And sure enough, so him and Liz were talking about this. Um, there's a house or something that's made out of cheese it's in California. And he's like, Yeah man, they made a song about it. My cheese. You ever heard? Of it? And he literally played Ann Wilson's My Jesus, and he cut that in there. So when she sang My Jesus, it said My Jesus. <laughs> and like the next day, I saw him. At church, or somewhere, I, I think it might have been Sunday, I saw him at church, and you know, we were laughing about it, and he goes, yeah, man, I got a call from Ann Wilson on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny story, and his sense of humor. We're going to sing the original My Jesus. <laughs> yeah, don't be singing about My Jesus. They fill me up in the morning.
that's, yes, I think he needs to pick one. <laughs> this is my, this is my awful <laughs>
song is coming up. You do not want to miss it. Don't miss it. It might be rattling, so you better not move. Hey, while we wait, if y'all want, why don't you write another rhyme? So this would be a good time to rest. Alrighty, Dave, then you want to check
you feel good about sharing this right now. Um, yesterday, uh, she was with the family and her kids, and they went out into the backyard, and they were around the bonfire, and at 10.09, and that was when Rob passed the day before, um, they decided at 10.09 to raise a toast for him. And at 10.09 last night, a shooting star passed over the skies over the, the Dempsey's. I still believe that God is real. Just listen to that story, all right? Now, who's ready to rattle?
Christ the Christ crucified, Aaron Owens.
Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Um, Um, me and Kevin actually sang this song earlier this morning, and, 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 and um, for music on the front porch and David's table. And your own room. And um, um, that's your shirt. That's your shirt. Brothers. Rob was our brother. All of you are our brothers and sisters in Christ. And it's a. In, uh, in the course of this, this brother, let me be your shelter. I'll never leave you all alone. That's what Christ is to us. He'll never leave us all alone. He is that light that guides us through our life. Uh, he's the one that we call on. He's our fortress. So, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll end the night um, singing a sermon and thanking Rob for being our brother while he was here tonight. Um, this might sound a little different than the normal radio version, because um, but just just kind of hang with us and follow us, and um, please uh, feel free to join in. What are you to understand? It's gonna be great. <laughs> Jesus has faith in me <laughs> more than I have in myself.
y'all some more? Yeah. 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 <laughs> sure. Are y'all good for a no? One more? Cassie? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Hold on. Yes, Cassie has only sang one, so we. Yes, she needs to sing this. Yes, this song needs to be sung. Which one? Abandoned. Abandoned? Abandoned. All right. Give it up for Cassie.
She does things, and then we, we go, well, I didn't put that song in there. Who'd you, Kyle, did you put that song in there? I put and a lot of them in there. Just keep so so she, she helps us in lots of ways. <laughs> and, and we've just got so much help and so many people that have blessed the bucket. Uh, it, 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 we just can't, uh, we can't count those people anymore. It's just too many. Not too many, but there's so many. So, many. so did you, Kyle, you good? Okay. Okay. Right, so protects his remote cell tower waves. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're safe in here. So I, 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 would, I would tell a, a joke or something, but I, I always mess it up, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, just going to say thank you for taking all the hot dogs tonight, so I don't have to take them home. I have them all week. Um, we appreciate you guys, the Miracle Hill guys. Thank you for coming out. We love you. so much back there and, and do all sorts of things. There's things that happen that we don't even know about sometimes. And uh, it's just super special. And um, can I can I do one more thing? Um, you own it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your house. No, it's his house. It's his house. We just get to, we just get to enjoy it. Um, Lois, Cindy's got a t-shirt for you back here. Yay! Will you 
stop over there and, and grab it on your way out. And, and you listen, you can only you can wear it every day. It, it's like a super like super material, so you can wear it every day for like a week or two. <laughs> I do it. Sydney never said that. I'll sing in the key of D, okay? Okay. <laughs>
thank everybody for coming and just celebrating Ralph's life. Um, and I'm not gonna, I stayed up late last night, there was a song that came to mind, I just wanna share this real quick, and I'm not gonna sing the song because I don't think I can make it through it without crying. Because when, um, when, I, when the news, when I got the text message, it was on Thursday morning from Jerry, and, and my phone was blowing up, I just I could not believe it. And um, when um, I turned on the I turned on the radio because I was always used to I, I, mean, I listened to Rob for years and I woke up to his voice and and the first song I heard that morning was Even If by, by uh, Mercy Me and I, I lost it uh, and I, I I know Rob lived his life the, this chorus. I'll, just, I'll, I'll read it to you because it just this I, I, I know Rob believed this it's I know you're able and I know you can save through the fire with your mighty hand but even if you don't my hope is in you alone and that I know Rob ran into Jesus' arms when he made his way to heaven on Wednesday night because all of his hope was in Jesus all of it. He lived it. You saw it in his daily life. He loved Jesus with all his heart, 24/7. And if I, I mean, he was a mentor. He was a good friend. And I'm gonna miss him. I think we all gonna miss him. But we will get to see him one day. And I think, as Scott had said earlier, when Rock got to heaven. Job well done, my good and faithful servant. Okay. We, I just. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna call it. We got one more. Come on. 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 And then we might, no, I'm just kidding. No, one more. One more. And, and, but, and Kevin thinks he's, he's, he's got it in him. He's been singing since. got one more. If I got one more, you got one more. So let's join in. It's no more, Kathy. All right. Come on. Let's see this place worshiping, y'all. Come on. That's what Rob would want. Let's go. Maybe sing it in the morning. It's no more, Kathy. It's no more, Kathy. It's no more, Kathy.